Hi, this is Cal from the Technical Support Team at Appliances and welcome to this quick introduction to our new DHCP interface. Customers have always given us high ratings for DNS Box's DHCP solutions and because we're seeing more and more requests for a dedicated solution, we spent the last year working with customers to improve it. We wanted to build the world's best DHCP server. Let's take a look and you can tell me if you think that's what we've done. Much of the continuous customer feedback that we receive has provided us with the insight to really perfect the following areas of our product. Simplified workflows for carrying out DHCP tasks, simplified interface with minimal clutter, an enhanced feature set to make life easier for DHCP admin. We've designed our new solution to be easier for less experienced DHCP administrators to use. An example of this is the new DHCP setup slash wizard page. Upon entering the DHCP interface, the wizard slash setup page allows you to set up a few key areas of the DHCP server to tailor the interface to your liking, which are these settings here. Uh, you can also, during the wizard, now import configuration from a series of different DHCP solutions, depending on what you're moving from, which makes migration easier than ever. Continuing the improvements on ease of use, Summit creation has been streamlined. We've also added metadata which allows you to tailor reports and lists to your needs. So let's take a look into this. So here we have the subnet creation page. We've really streamlined this to make this as simple as possible. And as mentioned, we now have metadata which you can use in reporting. Moving on, we're going to talk about templates. Now templates are a huge part of the new interface. We've designed templates to make the creation of new subnets quicker than ever for our customers. A real world example of using templates is that you might have a common DHCP option or set of options that you want to give out to subnets for new buildings, new branches that you might be opening. Now you can create a template with all the required options, for example here, and then you can apply these options in the click of a button when a new site is opened. So here you can see I can use a template and it will pre-fill the options I want. Failover used to be a nice to have for DHCP. Now it's one of the first things our new customers ask about. It's very critical to have good failover for DHCP. If you're currently using DNS box, then you'll be familiar with our active active and active passive options. However, we've simplified the configuration for these now. You select your primary DHCP server and then enter the secondary device details below and then you're done. You will click save and configuration is automatically synchronized between the two devices. Good reporting has been a key theme raised by our customers. It allows you to really utilize and tailor statistics to be useful in your own environment. Our reporting page includes the information about currently active leases, lease history used for troubleshooting, current static hosts, and some charts about how many leases per second there are, how many active leases we have, and the total assigned addresses at any given time, which can be used historically. Our new DHCP solution was carefully crafted after all of the feedback we have gathered for customers. There are other areas that weren't covered in this introduction, which will be included in following videos. If you do have any feedback, then please feel free to use a contact form on the Appliances website at appliances.com to let us know. Thank you so much for watching our demo of the new DHCP interface. We really hope you enjoy.